A lot of Catholics have very strong opinions about the apparitions or the supposed apparitions of the Blessed Mother in Medjugorje. I want to look at what I think is the biggest challenge to the truth of these apparitions. And that isn't stuff that Our Lady has actually said there or anything to do with the lives of the seers or even anything to do with priests that have fallen astray who have been linked to the apparitions of Medjugorje. Nothing like that. Instead, the thing that bothers me or challenges me the most are the things Our Lady hasn't said at Medjugorje. So we're really fortunate in that the people who are devoted to Our Lady's supposed apparitions there have prepared a concordance, a list of all the words Our Lady has used in her messages at Medjugorje. So each one of us can go on the Medjugorje website and find out, search through the things that Our Lady has opposed, supposedly said. And it gets really interesting when you spend a bit of time on these concordance websites because you discover there's a lot of really important things that Our Lady hasn't been talking about. And it kind of begs the question why. So I want to look at some of these things Our Lady hasn't been talking about in Medjugorje. And then I want to offer those who support Medjugorje uh, the chance to give me a response as to why this is the case. So when you go on the Concordance website, when you go on this website here, Medjugorje website, you get a page, which as you can see here, gives you a list of words and telling you how often these words are featured in the apparitions, the supposed apparitions at Medjugorje. So my first inclination when we start at letter A, maybe it's just me, but the last the last 30 years or 35 years since the apparitions began in 1984, they've really experienced the rise of the culture of death. I know the culture of death began really in the 50s and 60s with abortion becoming legal in many countries. And so my immediate thought as we looked at the letter A was abortion. Has Our Lady said anything about abortion? Has she chipped her hat in the ring in the debate about abortion and in the pro-life cause that so many Catholics um, have been involved in and have fought so admirably in? Well, she hasn't. Our Lady has never mentioned abortion in her apparitions at Medjugorje. Maybe abortion is too strong a word for our Blessed Mother to use. What about um, the unborn child? Again, I had a look for that one and unborn child doesn't feature either. And then when you think more about culture of death issues, what about uh, contraception? There's no contraception mentioned at Medjugorje. Birth control. She doesn't condemn birth control at Medjugorje. She doesn't have anything to say about transgenderism. She has nothing to say about homosexuality. She's got no word of support and encouragement for men and women struggling with same-sex attraction. Um, she's, she's got nothing to say. She says nothing about impure images. She says nothing about um, pornography. Um, we get two mentions of uh, impurity of heart. You get two messages of impurity of heart. But, you know, in terms of culture of death issues and culture of life, there's, there's nothing really here in the apparitions of Medjugorje. And I know that's not decisive. Perhaps for whatever reason, Our Lady has has not been sent by Almighty God to talk to us about these culture of death issues. So let's think about some other things. And actually, it's worth noting that the website's got a really good search facility as well. And so we can search. Uh, you can see some of the ones I've searched for already there. Uh, but let's go back to um, confession. Maybe Our Lady's been calling us to go to confession a lot. And right, we get some mess messages where she mentions confession. Um, you can see it says it's found 12. But that one uh, there isn't a message of hers. It's telling us they were, um, Yaakov had, had been to confession. Mm, so I make it 11. 11 messages of confession 
In the 800 messages of Our Lady, only 11 mes messages which feature confession. And actually, when you search for reconciliation, sacrament of reconciliation, you get one. So there's 12 in total messages where Our Lady invites us to confession over the last uh, nearly 40 years. Um, and then it gets, you know, what about something like um, Mass? Go to Mass on Sunday. What do we get then? So that one, no. Uh, that one, no. So this one here is telling us about Satan Satan causing problems in the parish. So she's complaining that people aren't going to Mass there. So one, two, three, definitely they're 85. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So again, eleven uh, messages about Holy Mass calling us to Holy Mass. Again, only eleven in the last thirty-five years. And what about Eucharistic adoration um, or the Blessed Sac adoration of the Blessed Sacrament? Um, let's have a look. Um, let's just put sacrament because that will cover loads of things and you can see I've already done it. Yeah, so we've got four mentions of sacrament. Uh, bless the sacrament of the altar. Adore the blessed sacrament of the altar. And then the next one um, talking about falling in love with the most holy sacrament of the altar. That's that's lovely. That's beautiful. And then the other one, and then you've got, there you go, at the bottom there, Sacrament of Reconciliation, like I mentioned earlier. So there's really three messages that talk about the Blessed Sacrament. And although this one here, you know, it, the words there are are beautiful, it's just really weird that Our Lady wouldn't mention the Blessed Sacrament uh, that often. There's no mention of Eucharistic uh, abuses of the Blessed Sacrament. There's no mention of making reparation for sins committed against Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And when you think about other apparitions, like Margaret Mary and the apparitions of the Sacred Heart, they were full of a call to make reparation. And in our day, there's so many abuses of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Surely this would be the time uh, to remind us of this, but but instead we we don't get that. We we get very few mention mentions of the Blessed Sacrament at all. So to kind of bring this video to a close, let me just give you a summary of some of the other words that I have searched through. So when we look at some of the hard truths of the Catholic faith, some of the hard things that our Lord taught when he was on earth. Our Lady never mentions hell at Medjugorje. She never mentions damnation, the damned, mortal sin, false religions. She never calls all people to enter the one true church, the Catholic Church. She never refers to false religions. She never mentions Islam, Muslims, the need for Protestants to convert, Hindus, Jews, atheists. She doesn't mention any of these things. And surely, if the messages are intended for pe for all people, she should at least tell them straight what they need to do in order to find salvation. She doesn't need to be so soft, so ecumenical, so new church. And that's what it sounds like. And it sounds like Our Lady has become a modernist bishop who is avoiding all the hard topics and instead talks about peace. There's 227 messages where she speaks of peace. She talks of praying, generally pray. There's 411 messages where she calls us to pray. And I mean, just to chuck in there, there's 12 times where she, she suggests that we find God in nature and in the beauty of the natural world more times than she suggests that we find God in the Blessed Sacrament. So there's a lot of questions here for me about the supposed apparitions of Our Lady. It's not about the things that she has been saying, because the messages, generally speaking, are mild. They're bland. 
you can't really oppose the messages. But it's what she's not saying. And when you compare her messages here to those at Fatima, there's no way you can say that the apparitions at Medjugorje are a continuation of those at Fatima. The rosary is only mentioned 14 times in Medjugorje and only six times since the year 2000. There have been 800 messages. Only 14 have featured the rosary or encouraging us to say the rosary. Our Lady mentioned the rosary at every message of hers at Fatima. So Medjugorje isn't a continuation of Fatima, not in those terms. She makes no reference to these past apparitions that have been approved by the Catholic Church. So my question to those devotees of Medjugorje, why is this the case? What's going on here? Why is Our Lady speaking like a modernist bishop? Why is she speaking like a, a Protestant or a New Ager? Almost not a complete new age because she does occasionally speak beautifully like three times of the Blessed Sacrament in the last 40 years. In fact, she sounds like she sounds like one of those priests, one of those priests who hasn't mentioned any of the hard truths in the last 40 years. You, you, you can say to the parishioners, has your priest ever spoken to you about confession? Well, if your priest has spoken to you about hell once in the last 40 years, uh, he's he's done better than Our Lady at Medjugorje, who's never mentioned hell in the last 35 years. OK, this is just food for thought. I'm open to being convinced about the truth of the apparitions at Medjugorje, but I'd like an explanation for what is lacking in her supposed messages. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.